second test, uh, 10 watt LED. Um, everything else is the same. Uh, we're still doing 10 microsecond pulses. And uh, uh, this time I changed the trigger type to uh, to trigger on the current pulse because that's more consistent than uh, or more reliable than the pulses that I'm getting from this uh, um, photodiode. All right, 30 volts. Here we go. Next test. This is going to be 43 volts. Ninety-six. Next test. Surprisingly, this capacitor doesn't drop a whole lot of voltage when um, we do these small ten microsecond uh, pulses. Fifty volts. Five hundred and sixteen millivolts on the shunt. Next test. Sixty five, uh, sixty four volts. Seventy six volts. Eighty-three, eighty-two. That's uh, five hundred and forty on the photodiode. Eighty-two, and let's get it up to like ninety volts. Oh, all right. Let's do a hundred. One point nine six volts passed on the shunt resistor. This is at a hundred volts. Hundred ten volts. Hundred thirty volts. All right, we're at 200 volts right there. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, we might have wrecked the LED based on what I see <laughs> from the shunt resistor. Uh, it looks like we dropped maybe 15 volts in that. This is a, this is a kind of a hard one to read. Well, let's take a peek at it. Let's just see what happened here. The current, which has a really large spike, I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly what to make of this, but the spike was 6.08 volts, and then it kind of drops down here. This might be more of a a more accurate reading somewhere in here, a 4.52. And then, after maybe the five uh, microsecond mark, we drop down to about 2.54. So, that is that, and um, one thing I do want to check here.
is I want to see if the LED still works because I have a feeling that uh, it might not at this point. Slowly turn up the voltage. Oh, okay. It looks like we may have burned a few of them out for sure. <laughs> 